like to start by introducing our dignitaries. From uh, this Huntington Beach City Council, we have Council Member Pat Burns, Council, Mem Council Member Natalie Moser, George Boutros from Senator Janet in one's office, from the Ocean View School District. We have the Director of Maintenance and Operations, Jim Choate, and our Harborview Elementary Principal, Francesca Legman. From the Community and Library Services, we have Susan Baker, Lisa Lane Barnes, Austin Edsel, and Lolly McCarty. Thank you all for joining us. So I'm actually really excited to see this. Um, I remember the way it used to look, and it's beautiful. Um, I can see many other families creating memories. So this extensive Harborview Clubhouse renovation transformed this, that transformed this facility began in 2022. As many of you guys are aware, this venue was actually used for HOA meetings, for parties. I remember we rented it for a couple of uh, Fourth of July events. We also had voting here every single year. So uh, we've used it quite a bit. And I'm actually really proud of this reinvestment back into our city's infrastructure and facility. Community buildings like this enhance our city and add value back into our neighborhoods. This is why it's important that we properly maintain our parks, gathering centers, and provide safe and clean venues for our children and families to come together and enjoy all throughout our beautiful city. I'd like to thank our hardworking public works and community library services staff who oversaw this project. Um, and I'd like to introduce you to them and ask them um, and invite up our community and library, library services manager, Chris Cole, to speak some more about the clubhouse improvements. All right, thank you, Mayor Pro Tem, and, and thank you all for coming out here today to help us celebrate this special event of the ribbon cutting for the recently renovated Harborview Clubhouse. This project started about eight months ago, and at that time, it was in desperate need for some critical infrastru infrastructure repair. So we can't wait for you to come in and see it if you already haven't. But before you go in, I'd like to illustrate some of the project uh, highlights. Uh, they include replacing the existing concrete patio, which you're all gathered on here today, uh, surrounding sidewalks, a new ADA accessibility ramps coming up from the parking lot. My personal favorite thing is the removal of those old window iron bars, and they've been replaced by these gorgeous brand new windows, so it really gives it a brand new fresh look. Uh, we also did some repainting inside and outside of the building and put brand new flooring in, as you'll see when you go in. We've also uh, did some upgrading to the existing restrooms. They're now uh, unisex restrooms, fully ADA accessible. Um, and also, a really great feature is that we have a completely remodeled kitchen with new uh, appliances, new cabinets, new countertops, uh, and also a new roll-up service door. So the people that worked on the construction side of thing, we'd like to thank is uh, Thomas, who did a great job in uh, executing this project, and it really looks amazing, the final, final look here. Um, also, um, the other folks that we'd like to thank is Farhad uh, Farshani from I, Big, I Build Spectrum, Mo Kasavari from I Build Spectrum, and also John Griffin from Dudak. So thanks to all them for working so hard and city staff. And I'll, at this time, I'd like to turn the mic over back to Mayor Po Tim. So this team is super efficient. Because um, I like, I'm just here actually to just thank you all for coming, joining us today. And I'd like to invite up my cons council colleagues and other electeds for us, other electeds and staff for a photo here in front of our center. Five, four, three, two, one. Three. 